So what are the strategies we use at DoSomething.org? Uh, my name is George Weiner. I'm the CTO of DoSomething.org, and I've been there for a little over six years. Super excited to be at South By for our second time. And presenting around strategy, it's, uh, it's really kind of in a lot of nuance. We, uh, we do three things whenever we think of a social action, uh, and we make it easy. And we say, no money, no car, no adult. So with these three things in mind, we then go out and address topics such as youth homelessness. A third of our nation's homeless uh, are under the age of 18. Uh, and they over-index for gay and lesbian. Uh, and it's a serious issue. The way we try to break down uh, this issue and our strategy is by making it simple. So I wouldn't just like throw out there, if this was like a room full of teenagers, like, go fix youth homelessness. Go on. Go. It doesn't get you anywhere. It's overwhelming and it's daunting. So we break it down into uh, the small first task, which is we chose this program, Teens for Genes. You raise a pair of uh, genes in your local area, you bring it to an Arapa stall, by the way, sponsor us. Uh, that is then paired up with the nation's largest database that we collected of youth homeless shelters. In uh, about a month and a half this year, we raised um, over a million pairs of genes by doing uh, on the ground, there was a lot of sort of uh, competition fun ways that uh, schools, we were in a quarter of all schools across the country, uh, found ways of raising these genes. They're putting principles on brews, and there's competitions between schools, two awesome folks in Tennessee that did this. So our strategy, uh, make it simple, make it fun, involve groups, and uh, you know, it's just we keep iterating. Uh, we're going to be doing 26 campaigns. They're not all gems. Uh, we'd like them to be, and that's where we're headed. I'm terrified of misusing extrinsic incentives. If Do Something were an organization and we're paying kids to take action, we would be doing a disservice to this upcoming generation because they would think, uh, if I do this, then I get a reward. This if then is a very dangerous dynamic. We do, however, employ a lot of now that rewards. So now that you have been the top school for Teens for Genes, for example, you are now uh, celebrated as you know the winner across the country. We do pizza parties, we give out scholarships occasionally, and we find ways of uh, rewarding after the fact, but not make it the goal of the action. Uh, data. I think companies that misuse their data can't read it, go out of business. So hopefully, the successful companies you see. Are interpreting what their customers or users, uh, sales pipeline, whatever you want to measure it in, if they're measuring it appropriately, responding and taking action as a result of the data, they're doing well. At do something, it's core. Uh, we always ask, what does the data say? Not what does my gut say? Not what is so and so over there doing? We want to know if it works. And in measuring it, we have a double bottom line. We're not, you know, at a company trying to sell more widgets. We care about the social engagement piece as well.